is in front of you. And when you look to the main stage, the auditorium is to your right. So the stage faces that way. The main stage consists of six parts, six platforms that can all be moved separately. These platforms can be moved forwards and backwards, they can be raised up to three meters, and most importantly, they can also be lowered nearly 12 meters. So there's quite a big space below the main stage, which is a big help for the stagehands. If you have to change the sets during a performance very quickly, they can put all the stuff they don't need anymore on one of these platforms, load it under the stage, and be done with it for the evening. Or they do the exact opposite, because the stage is over 25 meters high, the area up there is called the flies, and the flies and most of the lights of the stage area are installed, all the curtains are raised up there, backdrop paintings are raised up there, sometimes even whole pieces of scenery. That's especially important during ballet performances, because the ballet dancers cannot dance on normal stage floor as it is now, or as it is here. Among other things, it's simply too hard for them. So for a ballet performance, a special dance floor is put on top of the main stage. It looks a bit similar to a parquet floor. But if there is this new floor, it's very difficult to move the platforms below it, which is why pieces of scenery then, instead of being lowered, are raised up to the flies. Regarding the depth of the stage, from where it starts with a red black curtain is, it goes 50 meters to the very back, the first 25 being the main stage, the second 25 the rear stage. Come to the front there. Basically, your left eye where the floor gets lighter. The rear stage is always hidden during the shows. There's always some kind of backdrop scenery, painting, black curtain or so to hide it. Nevertheless, it is an important part of the stage area because at the very end of it is another platform, a big lift that's used every day by trucks. Now, the opera has a 